We named thyroidine by combining two words, thyroid and iodine. That's why we picked that name. There are two main forms of iodine available to us. One is the nascent atomic iodine. The other one is the molecular I2 iodine found in tinctures. And of course, then there's the natural iodine. Iodine is found in the ocean. So all the seaweed type of thing, kelp and uh, bladder rack and dulse and other seaweed type of plants are going to be rich in iodine. And the reason you need to know all about that is because every cell in your body has an iodine receptor. Iodine regulates your metabolic process. Iodine is the mineral that controls the Krebs cycle, which is the conversion of food into energy. 80% of the iodine that you use is consumed in your thyroid gland, which is found at, your, at the base of your neck, below your Adam's apple. The rest of the iodine is used for many other purposes, but the main one is the integrity of the mucosal barrier. And the mucosal barrier is what lines your nose and your lungs, your mouth and your intestines, and your reproductive organs like the vagina and on in, or the, the penis and the urethra going inside it. That's really important because if you're weak in that department, you're going to be easily infected by invaders. So you do need a lot of iodine to be well protected and strong. So if you're low on iodine, you will probably have trouble with energy. You will probably suffer with cold, as in you will be not resilient to weather. You will hate in being in cold weather, and you will also hate being in hot weather. Having plenty of it uh, improves your energy, your endurance. It will help with lowering inflammation. Therefore, your joints and whatnot will be healthier. And really importantly, your reproductive organs will be well. Give yourself 20, 25 years of iodine deficiency and expect to have problems with your prostate or problems with your ovaries. And women will hear about it much sooner because Iodine dysregulation will have effects on the menstrual cycle. Anything to do with that. PMS, all of the discomforts can be made a lot less intense by having enough iodine on board. And it's super important in pregnancy. It prevents miscarriages and it improves the birth weight of the babies. So it's super important for iodine to be in plentiful supply uh, during the reproductive years and well throughout our entire lives. So consider iodine to be one of the most important trace minerals that you must make sure that is in ample supply or else suffer long-term complications in your health. <laughs>